Hey, hey, Hotel Hoppers, and welcome to this episode. Today, we are not visiting one hotel particularly, but um, we are starting with our unraveling series of uh, hotel programs. And uh, in today's episode, we see what are the depths and insights uh, of uh, the benefits and perks for being a Hilton Honors member. It's the hotel program that I signed up, I think it was 2007, uh, so quite some years ago. And I have like um, since then been at least a gold or diamond member, been to a number of properties across continents. And uh, I'm going to share a bit insights what it means to be a Hilton Honors member. So first of all, if you go on the website, uh, you see that they have four status levels. Uh, member, silver, gold, and diamond. In the back end of the days, it was just three. Uh, diamond was added a bit later. And um, all these members, like the membership levels, have uh, slightly different benefits. Uh, but uh, it did, I mean, nevertheless, uh, it's, it's like uh, there are always some benefits. And uh, in 2021, they have reduced the qualification criteria, so um, it's, it's actually quite easy, <laughs> uh, at least uh, nowadays, to, to get one. Like silver is just four, uh, like five nights, gold at least uh, 20 nights, and diamond 30 nights. Um, before Corona, and most likely uh, also starting next year, they're going to increase uh, the qualification levels um, back to the normal, which is uh, double. So silver for 10 nights, gold for 40 nights, and, and diamond for at least uh, 60 nights per year. But um, enough of that, let's let's take a deep, deeper dive. So uh, what it means to be uh, just a Hilton Anas member. So uh, they say that uh, you get guaranteed Hilton discount rate, which is at least 2% uh, cheaper than the public rate. But this is not the, the reason you want to sign up one of if you're in the us what's really important for example is if you don't want to um, pay the resort fees on award stays well firstly if you want to collect points you should sign up but but secondly also like um, as at least even the base member you don't have to pay those resort fees in the american resorts i think my favorite benefit uh, if i would be just a member would be that to get free wi-fi access and that you can choose your own room if you have done the booking through um, a Hilton channel, for example, the app or the website. And if the hotel supports uh, app or online check-in. Um, according to, I think, uh, current data, more than 5,000 of um, Hilton umbrella hotels uh, support that. And that's a great thing. So that means that even if you don't have that silver or gold or uh, diamond status before you go to the hotel up to uh, 24 hours before you can choose the room within the category you booked like if for example there is uh, a choice between a number of different floors or uh, uh, the view um, that's something you can do and that it's so much easier to do that in the app than to negotiate um, at the front desk and you can like make your choice even before others uh, just walking in for the check-in the following day. So um, if you stay a bit longer, <laughs> uh, at least five nights or um, uh, two stays this year, it can be two one-night stays, you would get silver. So what's, what's the thing here? Um, you get a bit more points, extra 20% uh, base points. You uh, will get uh, free bottled water and uh, if you are spending points then every fifth night is free so that means that if you make a five night long uh, points redemption the fifth night is free so for example if um, it's um, 10,000 points per night instead of paying 50,000 points like uh, five times ten you only pay 40,000 points uh, so you can get more value for the points and uh, if you earn more than the qualification standard, but you don't hit the next level of gold, your elite nights also are rolling over. So uh, definitely not a bad thing. 
So things are getting more interesting uh, with gold here. Uh, yes, you earn a bit more points, but uh, one of the big perks is that uh, you get uh, daily food and beverage credit in the US, or uh, even better, the full um, uh, breakfast out of the US. It used to be continental breakfast minimum, across the world, but uh, with uh, COVID-19 and, and a change in service standard temporarily um, now until the end of this year in the US, you don't get um, like uh, full continental breakfast, but some um, others. And uh, if you are mostly staying in um, Asia or uh, sometimes in Europe, like uh, me, for example, then uh, the good thing is that uh, they don't really differentiate between breakfast. So, for example, in Asia, if you have breakfast, it's it's the breakfast in the main restaurant uh, and it's a full buffet. In the US, yes, there is a difference between continental breakfast and then full breakfast with few options. But uh, I have never paid that up, up bill, uh, up kind of like up charge <laughs> that, that usually um, I have found something from the continental options and what's exciting as a gold uh, you start getting upgrades now uh, those upgrades have a fine print uh, which we get into um, in a few and uh, also you get milestone bonuses so if you uh, hit a certain uh, number of nights uh, instead I mean in addition to getting the points you are like automatically getting or based on your spend uh, you would also get some extra um, points but so uh, it's uh, year 2021 and uh, <laughs> the breakfast benefit in the US has changed so instead of getting that uh, unlimited continental breakfast uh, buffet you are just getting credits uh, in upper brands it's uh, $25 uh, dollars per person uh, in Hilton it's only $12 dollars per person which doesn't really give you much maybe coffee and and a bun uh, maybe that's even more expensive so that's kind of sad but uh, but well maybe you should travel uh, out of the US uh, come to Asia for example but that's something you just have to consider and probably you can consider if uh, with with these credits do you actually want to have the full breakfast at all or you maybe go to the something nearby uh, to to get better value so now Digging into um, also with a, related to breakfast is that um, Hilton offers so-called My Bay benefits. So if you become a gold member inside the app or on the website, based on the brand you can choose. Like, would you prefer, for example, in Hilton, Conrad, DoubleTree, you can choose to want to get uh, one thousand points per stay or that uh, daily um, breakfast. And then, uh, yes, uh, it's also talking about upgrades uh, in this fine print, but, but that, let's have even a closer look. So, upgrades <laughs> as Hilton Honors Gold member. Uh, terms and conditions state that um, you can be upgraded up to executive floor room types. And um, sometimes it might be also something else. It can be next best uh, available room. Now, what my practice is that great hotels, great Hilton properties, uh, they are upgrading you as a gold uh, member, even if you book the base room to that executive room, if it's available, if there is a space for that. But uh, I have also seen hotels which they have that space available, but uh, they now like upgrade you just uh, by a category, which uh, sadly is, is uh, yeah, something maybe you have to consider that if in if, if then that city has uh, more than one Hilton hotel, like maybe uh, if that's the one you want to be in, or like um, if um, you are just paying for the uh, room. I think the weakness over here is that in some brands, you have um, like guaranteed one category upgrade or two category upgrade as a lead member that here with the Hilton basically it means that for example if you book an executive room uh, if you go for the fine print you should get no upgrade at all 
and in that sense it can be also de-incentivizing so yeah it depends but for example in the hotel where the, from the base room to executive room there are four categories with this so you can like yeah get maybe four category upgrade what's also important to know is that um, you have to look at the space which is available for your full stay so for example if you are going to stay for a week or two uh, if already looking ahead there are some dates that uh, the hotel is fully sold out uh, that's bad uh, for upgrade and and actually one thing I can recommend is is like you can make your stay into smaller chunks or um, that for example that can also like the shorter stays can improve your uh, upgrade success and also that you would if for example if you're traveling family and you have booked uh, more than one room like uh, based on the terms and conditions they are um, like supposed to upgrade you um, I mean with the room that you are in not the second room again I have seen different approaches I've been to some hotels where they have upgraded both rooms um, in uh, Hilton Pattaya for example we were traveling with friends uh, and I had made the booking uh, we both got upgraded but yeah it, it really depends uh, on the property and and some properties go with a bare minimum some more nice and, and provide more benefits and also you have to consider that there are some brands where according to the fine print they are not supposed to upgrade you at all for example Hilton Garden Inn or Hampton but again if you are in a nice property uh, they can upgrade you for example Hilton Garden in Riga uh, they upgraded me uh, even though they were not supposed to uh, buy fine print so um, it depends and then after gold we have diamonds so this is where you really stay quite a bit with Hilton it's uh, having some extra perks so for example if if you are a gold member you get executive lounge access only if you get upgraded to executive floor in Hilton you would get it anyway even if it, the hotel is sold out and you don't get upgrade to that floor you would get that access which is nice some hotels also have uh, different internet tiers as a diamond you would get that um, premium tier which can give you extra speed that's great also if you stay for example this year uh, at least 30 nights uh, or 60 nights you can also uh, gift the status to somebody so if you stay 30 nights um, you have the right to to gift um, a gold status your friend for example or at least uh, 60 nights a diamond status for 12 months to a friend and the upgrades are a little bit better there is also a sold out uh, room uh, currently if you do the booking um, 48 hours but uh, I mean I have never used it throughout the years so uh, and actually it also has certain restrictions it might be useful but not that important perk one thing that might be come handy is, is that if you have been a diamond member at least three years and stayed uh, more than 250 um, lifetime nights uh, you might get one extra like extension year um, so if you have a change in business or something it could be handy but let's take again look uh, on the fine print on upgrades so when gold was upgraded to up to executive uh, uh, floor room type then diamonds might be upgraded to uh, up to junior standard or one bedroom suites uh, but excluding those fancy suites and uh, this means that uh, for example if you book already a standard suite you would not get further upgrades um, and uh, again it has to be available for the full uh, time sadly I have also seen some hotels that um, for example um, Conrad Bangkok that they say like uh, well uh, they go by bare minimum and they have done like a different internal policy that the upgrade is only up to two levels so if you book the base room you don't get the suite but uh, but at least uh, in the nice hotels usually uh, if it's available you will get one and again it has to be available for your full stay 
um, the same with gold and um, uh, by terms and conditions even if you book more than one room uh, you're supposed to get the upgrade only for one and um, there is also an extra perk well it's not a perk but um, <laughs> if you stay really long with uh, Hilton then you can become a lifetime diamond uh, that means that you don't have to re-qualify anymore um, you can stay a bit less but uh, you don't uh, drop in status to get that to achieve that you have to have been diamond member like earned diamond member um, at least 10 years they don't have to be consecutive um, but 10 years um, on your account membership time and then spent at least 1000 nights or 2 million base uh, spent uh, in USD um, which translates to uh, $200,000 uh, if, if you meet also one of those conditions you can be in, become a lifetime diamond I hope um, that um, this was uh, useful for you brought a bit of clarity into the Hilton uh, program and um, I know we didn't talk about earning and uh, spending uh, the points in the system. Uh, we'll do another episode on that. What are the spending levels? So where you could spend the points in a meaningful way, and and uh, what are the kind of like calculations uh, to consider? That uh, is it better to uh, spend points or uh, spend cash? Um, there will be a different episode on that. But thank you for watching. If you like this episode. Uh, uh, click the like button if you have some comments uh, for example uh, you have uh, you want to take a deep dive and see a deep our deep dive into another hotel loyalty program uh, put in the comment section what is the program you want us to make the next video about but um, if a Hilton program is new for you I hope it was edu edu like entertaining and uh, and educational so you could bit more understand and and uh, hopefully you will enjoy some uh, Hilton properties like I have been doing uh, for uh, for quite some time already thank you for watching and, uh, and there is a special new trick so if <laughs> um, yeah this one thank you so um, see you soon in the new episode